Oh, oh, yes, yes. Woo, that's what I'm talking about right here. This is why I don't leave when people do drugs. Now I'm at a house party and this guy's got an alligator on his face. Glad to have him here. You guys know him as the host of the Crap Feast podcast. Give it up for Mr. Ryan Sickler, everybody. Let him in. You guys like drugs? <laughs> all right. I don't really do drugs, all right? I smoke a little weed. I drink a beer now and then. I've never done cocaine. I've never done acid. I'm not into pills. Like, the hard stuff scares me, all right? but in the right situation, I love to be around people on drugs. <laughs> Anything is possible when someone's on drugs. All right, like right now, if you said, hey, do you mind if I smoke some heroin while you tell this story? I'd say, fire that shit up. <laughs> Let's see where the night takes you. So uh, I'm originally from Baltimore and I uh, grew up out in Sykesville, Maryland. And when I graduated high school, I played soccer for junior college, AKA community college, <laughs> AKA the 13th grade. <laughs> and <laughs> so when you play sports with guys in high school, you play all four years, you know them well, you're in school with them, everybody knows each other. When I got to college, not everyone knew each other. And a dude on the team said, hey man, a friend of mine is having a party tonight down at Fort McHenry we should all go get to know one another and hang out. Now, quick history lesson for you here if you don't know, Fort McHenry is where Francis Scott Key wrote our national anthem, all right? He wrote the Star Spangled Banner there, I'm going to a house party there, we all have our path. <laughs> so, I get to the door and I knock on the door and this big dude answers. And when I say big, I don't want to be misleading. He wasn't built like The Rock, but he was more like Sloth from Goonies, okay? <laughs> sizable, dude was sizable. And he says, welcome to my party. My name is Sparks. I said, well, thank you for having me, Sparks. I go in, I'm hanging out with the guys on the team. We're drinking and smoking. Sparks is right there, drinking and smoking with us. Then he disappears downstairs. A few minutes later, he comes back up, drinking and smoking, disappears downstairs again. Now, I don't know what's going on down there. I can hear some voices. I only assume it's like buddies of his, local guys. They've been there a while. They're not mixing with us. We're not mixing with them. But Sparks is going back and forth. About the fifth time Sparks comes up the stairs, he's got cocaine all over his face. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I got it. You're up here drinking and smoking with us. You're down there doing cocaine with them. You're being a great host. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever hung out with someone that's done way too much cocaine at one time, but Sparks has these big eyes and this smile plastered on his face ear to ear and he's bouncing like this in front of us in the living room like I am in front of you all right now. And he keeps snapping his neck and looking to the rear corner of the living room, he's like, And then he walks back there. And in the corner, there's a little aquarium with a blanket on it. And he rips the blanket off, all right? Now we're in a row home, all right? It's narrow, but it's deep. So from where I'm sitting at first, I'm like, man, that kind of looks like an alligator. You know what it actually was? A fucking alligator. <laughs> yeah, Sparks has a pet alligator. And it's sitting in this aquarium on, on some rocks and like half full of water, you know, natural, alligator habitat <laughs> and Sparks steps right up next to it and without taking his eyes off of us he lays his arm in the tank and he starts swaying it 
back and forth in the water alongside the alligator's body. And I'm like, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Back and forth. Cocaine. Cocaine. Back and forth. Back and forth. Then he picks the alligator up. Now, there's a dinosaur at the party. Two dudes on the team leave. Guy sitting next to me is like, hey, I think we should get the hell out of here too. And I was like, what are you talking about? This just got good. Like, do I need to remind you right now that you're at a party with marijuana, alcohol, cocaine, and an alligator in a historic neighborhood? Where else do you want to be in the country tonight, man? This is the spot. We got a front row seat. And Sparks is holding this thing by the belly, okay? And it's big, all right? Now, it's not Gator World big. We weren't going to, like, sit on its back and take pictures, but it's, like, the size of a big cat. I'd say from the snout to the base of the tail, it's about this big, and then the tail hangs down. And he's holding it with both hands by the belly with the snout right at his face like I have this microphone right now. And Guns N' Roses was big at the time. I say that because Sparks busted out his best Axl Rose and starts dancing with this alligator. Cocaine. Cocaine. And then he kisses it on the mouth, and I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here. And then he kisses it again. And you know that little shady side eye that alligators have, that little eye they have, you know? That alligator's looking out at all of us like, is this motherfucker serious? And then he kissed it a third time. And that alligator said, snap! And I was like, oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Woo! That's what I'm talking about right here. This is why I don't leave when people do drugs. Now, I'm at a house party and this guy's got an alligator on his face. Do you know how pissed off I would have been if I left and someone called me the next day and said, you're not gonna believe what happened. Oh, I'd have been devastated. But I didn't leave. I stayed right there. And this alligator is clamped down on Sparks' face. And his eyes, they're still big, completely different emotion in there now, starting to see the panic settle in. But I'll never forget the look in that alligator's eyes. Because that was his first time tasting flesh, blood, and cocaine. That's like a reptile mega millions right there. And it's on, it's on tight, it's not going anywhere. And I'll say this too, for people from Baltimore, some of the toughest people I've ever met in my life, all right? This gator is locked and he's not screaming. And if he is, I can't hear it over my laughter. <laughs> and Sparks doesn't know what to do. You know, I'm not getting up and helping. I'm not putting my hand in an alligator's mouth. I just opened another beer. <laughs> and he knows there's no one coming to his rescue. And he does what he has to do and he rips it off of his face, yeah. And he goes over and he sets it back down in the aquarium. And he's got his hand over his face like this. He takes it off. Cocaine's gone at this point. <laughs> and he goes, I'm not bleeding. And he wasn't. And then he put his hand over his face again and he took it off and I was like, now you are. A lot, man. Your, your face isn't supposed to do that, man. Maybe the cocaine acted as a coagulant for a second. But you're gushing right now, man. And Sparks said, I'm calling the cops. I was like, the cop? For what? Alligator assault? What the hell are you calling the cops for, man? Like, let me remind you, man. You've got marijuana, cocaine, and alcohol here with underage kids, and you just took a gator to the face, man. The cops are just going to come in here and beat the hell out of us. You need medical attention. Call 911. They don't care about this kind of stuff. He said, no, I'm calling the cops. I said, well, I'm not going to be here when they get here. And I thank Sparks for having me. Hit him with a see you later alligator. Got the hell out of Fort McKenna. I'm Ryan Sickler. Thank you.